Next item on the agenda will be the budget hearing. We are required by law to have a public hearing before we approve the final budget. So at this time, if anybody wishes to step forward, say anything, comments about the budget, the floor is yours. If nobody wants to speak, we'll probably just leave the floor open and we can probably start discussing different parts of the budget or people have questions, commissioners have questions. We can start the process. So, <clears throat> anybody want to take the podium for anything? If not, open the floor to commissioners as well. <clears throat> Marlos, do you have anything to add? Do you want any comments about the budget or? Well, you know, when we when I presented to you guys at the August meeting, I think I had like a four mil increase. I had um, put one mil into the emergency fund, and I believe it was two or three mils into capital improvement to do the ninety thousand dollar roof repair for the courthouse. And that's what I presented to you guys at the August meeting. Then when we when we talk, start talking about the shortage in the road funds, you told me to max. <coughs> and the capital improvement fund and which caused um, a 12.44 mil increase total and which came to like an 18 percent increase altogether it was like an 18.26 percent increase but then the ambulance went down 0.23 percent so just a just a little bit over 18. How's that emergency fund? Did we use anything last year? The only thing we used it for is we declared emergency to do the handicap rep, to pay for the handicap. That was it. Yeah, we did that with emergency fund. That was like thirty two or thirty four thousand. Mm -hmm. so but we didn't have any snow removal at all in so twenty four. What do we have in there? Three hundred and some thousand? Um, I believe right now there's like four hundred and some thousand in there. Four hundred and thirty five thousand seven hundred and ninety three dollars and ninety two cents. Where do you bring? That's on the sheet she gives us every month. Oh, so she <coughs> kind of year to date statement. Aaron, could I ask where does that money come from? Is it an emergency fund? The emergency fund is, is a mill levy that, that's the county taxpayers. So generally what happens with the emergency fund, like if you take two years ago and we had that bad winter and we had snow cats and the other contractors. When we declare an emergency, then we can use those funds. Otherwise those funds are kind of cut off to us. But there's a variety of different reasons why you can declare emergency. We declared them several times, whether it's flooding, snow. The good news about the emergency fund is usually a lot of times you utilize those funds, and if it, the emergency is bad enough, you can usually get some kind of state or federal funds that will usually reimburse it, or you can use those funds to match for certain projects that you maybe didn't budget for, like an emergency type, like a... You have a flooded road or something like that, 17th Avenue north of Braddock. I mean, you could utilize emergency funds if we had to in order to get through to a, you know, certain point of a project or something to do. So, okay. the emergency fund is exactly what it is. It's an emergency fund. <laughs> That's it. Otherwise, it just kind of sits dormant. So, but I've also learned over the years that four or five hundred thousand dollars doesn't last longer in an emergency. So. It no. sounds like a lot of money in there until you have one winter where you're hiring contractors and fighting floods and all sudden. The 20, what was it, the 22, 23 snow, right? Was it in the fall of 22? Yeah. And then the 23 winter? The and then the state declared emergency and we got snow emergency money back. Right. It was over half a million. Right, but up to that point, we actually utilized our entire emergency fund bet, close to it. So if they wouldn't have declared that, which there's no guarantee they will, but usually they help us out some offer. So anyway, I'm gonna, I, I did put in for a full levy the six mills in the, in the emergency fund, which generated 256,000 <coughs> overall. So there's current balance in there, 486. So we'll have or almost seven hundred thousand dollars in there if you need to. An emergency fund? Yeah. And you know, we talked about it at one meeting, you know, somebody from the public gas week can that money get used for like a a road project and if it's an emergency, yeah, I think you can. So how many mills did you put in there for this year? I went six. So we were really wouldn't have to go that high. No. <laughs> and and then the capital improvement, um, 
John had put in his budget that I think it was 110,000 he wanted, and you guys told him Max to, to put in the most in that too. So you got the jail in there, and then you have the 110,000 that John had requested. So you told me to max it out to 10 mils. So it brought in an extra 5.46 mils, which is 234,000 that you guys said you would use on some road. And one mil is $42,800? One mil is $42,878.32. Mm -hmm. okay. How come in technology we, you went up from $82,000 to $144,000? Beck is charging us for a new camera system. Beck is charging us $16,000 a year for Beck's store for camera storage. Um, and then we went with NRG for um, some IT services, which is kind of expensive. So I put that $20,000 in there. And then Tyler Technology, we used to have for our software, for our tax, and our general ledger. We were always with Dakota Programs, who is now quitting at the end of 25. They used to only charge us like $12,000 a year. Well, Tyler Technologies is charging us $30,000, so that's why the technology went up. So it's that much, though? Yeah. And then Vanguard went up also. That the tax assessor's office uses. That went up almost $8,000, so I had increases there. So you can't, um, you can't really cut there, then? Huh? Well, I don't know how you could. <laughs> The only thing is, you know, I got that 10000 miscellaneous, but, you know, just this year alone, I had some department heads coming to me and saying, I never budgeted anything in technology, and now my laptop quit, or my computer quit, or... So I always put that 10000 mis miscellaneous in there, so we have some money, too. How about the indirect cost for human services? That's an extra 50000 Okay, that we get back from the state. That's a reimbursement from the state. Um, just some indirect costs that went up with the six counties. And she puts that budget in with the state, but it has to go through our county first. So that's an in and out. That's no tax dollars involved in there at all. Well, your state, I guess we all pay for it in our state. <laughs> Did you include included in this is uh what do we go with it for a percentage for wage increases? Four percent. Four percent. Four percent. Okay. That was an extra that's the forty thousand dollars a year, I think. That's, I mean, that's all included in there. Yeah. So the only funds that um I I couldn't make budget in because you guys know Skyler he, when he turned in his budgets it was like a two million dollar increase. There's just no way I can bring in an extra two million. So where we're sitting at right now is the county road and bridge fund. In order for me, I can only bring in 10 mils there. In order for me to bring in the 10 mils, the appropriation could have only be $571,698.41. And he had 1.4 million. So that's going to have to be cut down. So if you look at this sheet, I, I made some budget notes for you guys to follow along with. So if you look at the county road and bridge appropriation on their budget, on the sheets that you have there in front of you, Gary, those county road and bridge sheets, he's got a $1.4 million that he wanted to bring in. And that's got to be dropped down to 571000 Yeah. And the same with the federal aid, and the same with the unorganized road. Did he have any? This would be equal. Oh, yeah, equipment, lease, and everything. Yeah. Okay. And so the extra meals I brought into the capital improvement of 234000 will be 234000 there that we can transfer into, like, the county road and bridge if we need to, if that's what you decide to do. I gave you guys all copies of them. Yep. Did you get them this morning? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I had them all clipped together for you. Oh, yeah. And he had originally, he, he originally 
currently have another 400000 in for gravel, but we have some money coming from the legacy fund from the state to the legacy fund. So I took the gravel out of his budget and I put that in the legacy fund. So all the gravel will come out of that? Fund. Yeah. How much was yeah. that? That's 400000 What did we spend this year? Do you have any idea? Oh, not without having records. Okay. It hasn't been no 400 I know that. And like if you look at the general road construction in the county road and bridge, he has $750,000. What he was figuring in there, I believe, is the um, golf course road. He said 407,000 he wanted there, and then chip ceiling, chip ceiling he had another 100,000. And then, um, yeah, that's where, and I don't know where the rest of it came from when he came up with 750,000. These are just figures I got from John. I asked John where he came up with it. He didn't know, but he just told me about the, seven, the um, 407,000 and then the 100,000 is what he came up with. And we do have prairie dog money coming in next year. You can always do a project out of that. Do we know what that amount is? Um, for prairie dog, they're anticipating. One million one hundred eighty thousand. If the buckets are still filling, they said by the end of the year, by the time their legislators meet, if the buckets are full, we should get one point one million eighty eighty thousand dollars from there. And if Measure Four doesn't pass, if Measure Four passes, I don't think we're going to get any prairie dog money. That's right. what they're saying. I don't know. In the past, we'll just time. keep that in the bucket. That's what well, they'll have to, right, I mean, they're going to have to probably put all funding mechanisms on pause so they can figure out how to fund a fund. property tax measure would be, I mean, that's what I've been told, so. coming from the federal government too in 25 but I I didn't put anything in the budget because you don't know you don't know that's why it'd be nice to know when the budget is what you're gonna get then you can be easier to budget what you this prairie dog money though they were saying the buckets last I heard the buckets are filling up and it sounds pretty positive I was at the six county meeting a few weeks ago and Jerry Klein was there and and um, also there are a couple one other house guy was there and they said it sounds pretty promising. It's a lot to cut out of those budgets, I know. It's it's <clears throat> well like Aaron, like you said today, it's we didn't have to not he just increased two million spending. dollars. We weren't so. spending this much, we we're just requesting it's not cutting. Right. Cutting is when you're spending less than you did the year before the year before, so <clears throat> so the preliminary budget is for to put it out there and see where things land and And then the highway tax is gonna be short also. But I took the legacy three hundred thousand from the legacy fund in twenty twenty four, and I'm going to put that in highway tax. So we should be okay with that. So it's just a county road and bridge, a federal aid in the road district that you're going to have to cut down on. I think all the other partners were pretty close to the same as they were last year. Right? Yeah, and um, there's I'm not I don't have a problem with the general fund at all. That we're not even raising mills on that. <clears throat> but we didn't increase two million either. So the four percent on uh, four percent cost of living—that's going to come to about close to forty thousand, right? 
You know, I never sat down and figured that out. Oh, you had here. <laughs> you had here. Um... Well, you're looking at highway tax only. No, I was looking at the. Do you want me to quick figure it out for you again? Well, you had salaries down last Talk year, eight hundred eighty-six thousand. Now it's nine hundred twenty-five thousand. So that's a difference of like thirty-nine thousand or forty thousand. Right? Is that is that that four percent? Yeah. General road general construction, we only spent actual two hundred sixty thousand. Which one are you looking at? Page twelve. Road general construction. Because they're requesting three quarters of a mil. They're requesting quite a bit more than what we about three times more than what we actually spent. You're looking at the twenty forty versus I know. Skyler increased his budget to over $2 million, and that's part of it. Well, like he's got maintenance and graveling, or he's got on uh, construction. $750,000, yeah. 850000 And then in the federal aid, he also went from 250000 to 850000 That's That's the one I'm looking at. Um, I don't know where he came up, why he came up with that. That's a lot. The hell. Chip ceiling that was that part of federal aid stuff? On, uh, <coughs> on the roads by the golf course at Mile West. Well, and by yours. Yeah. I don't know. That was, special. that was some federal aid stuff there, wasn't it? I don't, I don't think that's a federal aid road out there, is it? Oh, yeah. Is it? Yeah. By the golf course? Well, well there's one out by Dan McCurry and a mile out of Strasburg. That right? one is. Oh, yeah. that one is. I thought you were saying the golf course. I don't what know. about the one north of it? That's not federal aid, is it? Which one? Just the one north of town. Just north here, go on. Yeah, yeah. no, that's not federal aid, is it? No. no. You talking about 79? Yeah, the one just up there by the church. Just north, north west. by the church. Assembly. No, that's not. That's not a federal, federal aid, is it? No. I don't believe it is, no. Is that a federal aid that goes up the hill by the tower? No. I don't think so, either. Okay. Like in that federal aid, he does have, John made a note here for me that the pavement went to Strasburg, that one mile. He's got new asphalt for 725000 But, you know, when it comes to the federal aid projects, if you get them approved with the state, that's an 80-20. I don't know where he's coming up with the 725000 That's an 80-20. That's, well, that wouldn't be our cost share for that, so. Because we don't have to pay 20% of that, and I don't know what the cost of it is. He said seven hundred and some grand, didn't he? Well, it's eight hundred and fifty thousand he's got here in the federal aid. Requested from last year in two thousand twenty four he had two hundred and fifty. I wish he would be the here. overall cost. And, and is there some other thing? What would that road cost, Francis? Did you ever check that out? I did. Remember back in 22, when we had built that road up, Mike Ravinius had come down for all the plans together, and then he had figured the federal and the state side of it to do that. But I don't have the paperwork with me. 
We figured that one and uh, one other one. So. Did you figure the one going south of Strasburg by the anhydrous plant at that time? Uh, no, that was county. That's rodeo ground. Okay. okay. We just figured the one going west. Okay. Which so one? we had done that one and um, one other right. small one, but without Mike's paperwork here. Yeah. That was two years ago. But that was the same thing. It was a 80 20 split at that time. We would, Mike had figured all that out. We brought it down to the meeting. At the same time, we chip sealed the Braddock Road. Yep. So we didn't. We didn't um, go any further than that, though. So how much could we cut out of there without <coughs> getting in trouble? I mean, how much are we going to need? And the federal aids are always an 80-20 split. Most of the time. If, like Marcy said, you got the funding. But at that time, like with Braddock, when you chip sealed it, we bought almost 10 years by chip sealing it. He didn't think the one west of Strasburg would qualify for chip sealing because it wouldn't stand up because it gets pounded pretty hard. Yeah. But maybe if you relook at it, you may be able to chip seal it and save a lot of money. That'd be worth it, yeah. There's a lot of salt in uh, divots in that. Yeah. That gets pounded hard. Oh, that one there. So, Donnie, on the federal aid, you need to cut well, it out 282000 But I don't know what that ever had huh? lift on. Out of the federal aid one? That's we could cut more out of there, right? I mean, why? Well, why do you want to, though? It's probably 30 years from now. Whatever project yeah. would come up, you know. We, you know, peel it all Keep the five minutes in there. we got to cut well, something. Like well, the federal aid, to levy five mills, you only have to cut out 282000 Oh, okay. So why don't we cut that out of there? I have that on that second page with a shortfall. That's what you need to cut out is where I have a shortfall. Well, then we might as well cut that out of there. But, Marcy, how, how can you... How can there be a shortfall of 849000 on the county road and bridge? Because if you take that from the amount requested, that's even way less than what we approved last year. Did we have excess funds from last year to carry into it? or what? No, we had, We ended up in the year of 23. We ended up with 360336 dollars and a penny. Okay. Get my calculator cleared. I have some stuff in there. So the shortfall on that's two hundred eighty-one thousand. So, so that's and what you got. And if you add the four hundred seventy-one thousand two hundred seventy-two dollars and eighty cents for revenue that we're expending at twenty-four, if you're looking at this book here, go to page twelve. It'll show you. No, I'm looking at the handout. I'm looking at the handout. This one here. This one. Page twelve. No, this. This one. Page twelve. You have a yellow book. Mm-hmm. Okay. Go to page twelve. Okay. And then go to the next page, and it'll show you the balance that we had at the end of the year was three hundred sixty thousand three hundred thirty-six dollars and a penny. And then if you add the estimated revenue for twenty twenty-four of four hundred seventy-one thousand two hundred eighty-two dollars and eighty cents, and then you subtract what he was going to spend of eight hundred fifteen thousand six hundred fifty dollars. That leaves you at the end of 2024 at $15,958.81. And then you estimate the revenue can count that I'm expecting to come in with transmission tax and um, state aid distribution. And all that is $126,956.44. And then he has an appropriation of $1,421,000. That gives you a shortfall. Then I can only right. levy in 10 mils, which is 428,000. So if you add the 428,783.16, it comes to a shortfall of 849,000. Right, and that's because you could hit 815,400 from last year because you were carrying over 360,000 from the year before. So, but this next year, we're only going to be carrying over. About sixteen thousand. So you got to you got to cut that shortage as well as the shortage requested. So. Right. And when you do this, you know you have to <coughs> plan that you're going to spend everything in 2024, and it, it looks like we're going to be because with the equipment lease payments, and there's already been some road construction that we've paid for. So in County Road and Bridge, we got to keep cut out eight hundred fifty thousand. Yep. And then uh, Federal Aid, we got to cut out two hundred eighty-one thousand. And highway tax, five, 
for well, I transferred money into the highway tax. So that one you should be okay with. Unorganized road, you're going to have to cut out, though. So you said 500,000 in there, just about. Some of it's road district. Is the unorganized road? Well, there's some I know, like <coughs> contractors. He had he had eighty one thousand. Now he's got two hundred thousand. Then he's got like culverts, sixty five thousand was last time. Now he's got two hundred thousand. I've seen that. Miscellaneous rock and stuff. Well, that's that's less. I guess. Yeah, I don't know. That's they, a lot of culverts. Are they, are they short culverts out there? Or I guess I, I mean, don't know. That, that's, that's. Well, the big one was wasn't there like, wasn't Devin Ballers and wasn't there three gigantic culverts? was going to be like $80,000 just for those culverts alone. Yeah. And aren't they laying out there? I think they put them out there on site, didn't they? So are they paid for? They're right? paid for. Them. I'm thinking they're paid for. Well, then why is it in here? I don't know. Contractors, I suppose that was for gravel. Maybe he figured more for people put on gravel. Mm -hmm. You know, he had a two point what two point two or two point three million dollar increase compared to last year. Well, if you add up what you got to cut out here without the highway tax, you know, it's well with the highway tax, it's two point one million. So it's you pretty much cut out what he increased. I almost have to. Well, like you said before, the other deal of all these increases he asked for are the same things that we're getting asked for in those meetings. So, and he's got technology too for four thousand to nine thousand. I don't know what that would be. Then, uh, it's too bad we don't have them in here. Yeah. No, no, to court of purse, he's got like from eighty-two thousand. That goes up to one hundred thirty thousand. You get with the four percent increase, you pay more into purse. Do you? Oh yeah. Yeah. It's so it's a uh, sixteen point two six percent of your gross salary. That's almost fifty thousand yeah. dollars. It's almost three hundred thousand. smart to leave the money in somebody's funds to pull it when you need it. Can't you do it? Can't do it. Well, you got to balance the budget. You, you can't. You can't levy more bills than the law says you can. So all that's what you have to do. All that shortfall is already What Marcy's asking for is for us to cut the budget enough to actually match the bills. Yeah. So all that shortfall.
mostly going to be in the road district. Because all the other budgets, are, all the other departments are pretty close to where they Well, are. and if you look at your budgeting, you look at your year-to-date stuff, <coughs> basically the general fund and the courthouse-type budgeting, they've, they've spent about 70% of their budget this year, which is right on target for, I mean, they're pretty much right on target for it. Well, that's what I'm saying. You know, with the county, you know, with the road departments, it's kind of hit and miss, because right now it shows that we've only probably used about 41 to 42%, but some of that is sitting here yet, like the Prairie Dog Fund. That Kelsch project is going to be starting any day now, and the Wolbaum project, well, it's going to eat up 1.5 million right there. Oh, so basically what's happened is, is we're basically appropriating every year pretty much our max for the most part. So when Skyler asked for increases, there were no increases to really give. That's what we're running into. Well, he just shot that guy there. Well, he did what we always do in a preliminary budget. You ask for everything you want, and then, you know, it's just like when I worked at the coal mine, there was a preliminary budget, and there was what we called the axe meeting. This is the axe meeting. You find out what gets the axe. Well, it's not, so, it's not that the road department couldn't use that money, I'm sure. Right, well, it's, it's whether or not the law allows you to. Right. That's a big question. So. Well, the only thing we can do is appropriate what we can. <laughs> well, the only other option would be is, is you pare down these budgets as far as you can without totally gutting them. And the one option that we do have is we have we have about nine hundred eighteen thousand dollars in the permit fund, and we could appropriate funds for the permit fund. Yeah, but we don't want to do that now. Well, I can tell you one thing: it, it sounds great to have nine hundred thousand dollars in a permit fund, but at the same time, with inflation, that money's worth less and less. And on top of it, if you want to get things done, like hire travel contractors and and do culverts and the like. Well, I mean, we could do that during the year. Right, but you still have to you still have to appropriate those funds. You can't leave a hundred thousand dollars in excess or do when unless you're gonna account for that spending. You still have to say where you're gonna spend it from now. And just remember that two hundred thirty four thousand in the capital improvements, you told me to increase that levy. That money can be transferred into one of these funds here. It right. can be. Okay. So if, the if one we, thing to remember is like so let's use for example the county road and bridge, right? So we need to cut $849,300 roughly out of there to make budget, just to be legal. <coughs> well, that's already going to put you way below last year's spending. So not only are you cutting it just to match the legal aspect of it, but you're actually going to be cutting that budget probably $300,000. So you don't have to cut it three hundred, dollars but you could cut that eight hundred some thousand and leave it where the number's at. But you can basically appropriate well, out of the permit fund to spend more money. You can't spend more money than that on paper legally, but if you would do overages or things like that, you can amend your budget later because we have the funds <laughs> to do it. We're not levying more taxes. Right, we're just we're using we're using basically what you'd call a reserve fund. We're transferring from one. I want right. to remind you guys that at one of the meetings when we were short with the ARPA when the sheriff standards came in and talking about mm -hmm. the project, there was two hundred thousand we were short. Yeah. That's coming out of the art fund, or the, the permit fund. Right, and that, so that number is current today, but we've already appropriated a right. few different things out. And I'm not suggesting you spend the whole thing, but my point is, is you know, you're going to have to cut out 200000 on some of these things like this contractor thing. You can still utilize contractors, and you can pay for them, because we do have some of these right. funds. So yeah. just because you're cutting it out of the budget doesn't mean you absolutely just can't do it. It's just well, that just you can't budget and levy those funds, because we are maxed out on some of these levies to do what we want to do. So. Yeah, but I mean, can a guy just do it during the year to get out of there for, for contractors? Or we need right, right. Well, what I'm telling you is, so last year we budgeted for forty thousand. A quick way to cut one hundred and sixty grand out of there would be to budget forty thousand again. Right, right. So yeah. you budget yeah. forty thousand yeah. for contractors, right. but yeah. if you had the opportunity to spend a hundred thousand dollars on contractors yeah, and the board agreed to do it, we do have some reserve funds you can right. utilize that. Yeah. So that's the thing. I mean, you're budgeting for this for the taxes you levy, not necessarily the money you always have on hand. Right. So, yeah, that's why I'm telling you, don't be too afraid to just go. Oh, well, we got to cut down this contract just to get this budget in order. We do have other funds we can utilize later on, so we can still do some of these things in the budget. It's just that the preliminary budget can be the moon, and then the official budget is whatever the law allows. So, yeah, we just get somewhere. If you want to, you want to, you want a cat? Ask for a pony. You do it. So Skyler was asking for a pony. Well, let's <coughs> how we go like the contractors start out at fifty thousand. 
Well, you're gonna have to start somewhere because like you, 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 you got to cut yeah. eight hundred fifty thousand just out of that okay, budget so alone. We, so. Right. so if we took out, if we took fifty thousand, um, yeah, hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, if you went down to fifty thousand on general road construction, you're gonna basically cut seven hundred thousand out of that budget. You can't really cut the lease payments because we're already committed to those lease right. payments. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's another thing to remember, though that. We're utilizing half a million dollars out of this county road and bridge budget is, is for lease payments. So I mean that's where that money's going and people wonder where the money's going. It's lease payments for these mostly almost all exclusively for the blades. Probably about seventy five percent of it goes to the blades and there's a what a remainder on a couple other pieces of equipment, maybe a truck or two. So So if we went if we if we said uh, for twenty twenty five we went fifty thousand. On what the contractors? The contractors. I got seventy-five with fifty. Okay. Okay, fifty thousand. And on culverts, <coughs> we're at seventy thousand. Yeah, we should cut back on that. Yeah. But them culverts out there, like you said, down there, buddy. But they should have been paid. Are right. oh, you sure they're out there? Are you sure those are the right ones? And that's the thing. Don't make assumptions on something like Just that. I mean, I remember a big bulk of that culvert conversation where those three, they're, what are they, six foot, they're seven, six foot seven diameter culverts? Eight or ten, I thought they were eight or tens, weren't they? They're big. They're big. So rather than seven thousand. They're big because I don't know if we can even install them, they thought, with our equipment. Just went rather than seven thousand went to a hundred thousand. <coughs> yeah, you're looking at. Huh? I see what you're doing. Yeah. So we would say we dropped it on the entire deals for the two hundred thousand. Double bender and clay cutting edges and rock. From 75 to 140, can we cut that down to 75? You can cut anything now you'd you like, Commissioner Materi. What'd you say then? Well, in the in the miscellaneous, <coughs> sir. From 75 to 140. Oh yeah. Yeah, I got that marked there too. I think we could keep that at 75,000. Keep it at what it was. So we'd save 140,000. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> I would say with the contractors, you'd probably have to go to 50,000. That's what we had. That's what we got. Well, because it was 40,000, so you'd yeah. have to just go to 50? 50. Yeah. 50. All right, I was still on the other budget then. So, so we'd be saving, but. Yeah, everything else is really on line. You brought that culvers from 200 to 100. <coughs> Fifty thousand for the culverts. So we'd save one hundred fifty thousand, and then I got seventy thousand. Oh, hundred thousand for culverts. Yeah. So we'd save another. So we'd save a hundred thousand, right? So because you got a seventy-five on the miscellaneous. One seventy-five, right? Yeah. Seventy five on the one fifty up here, right? Well, it wouldn't be seventy five. It'd be what you got. One hundred thousand to two fifty. No, if we had two hundred thousand, okay. If we had, if we put, if we had a hundred thousand dollars for the culverts, right? 
Jews who crushed them in 200,000, that they was 100,000. Right. Right. Yep. So that's... And you said 250 up here. 150. Or 150, yeah, 150. So 100,000. 250. And then this one here, if we leave that at 75,000 for right. rock and clay, we'd be sitting... Oh, I did take it. Okay. Well, he was requesting 140. Right. So you have to take minus 140 minus 75. Oh, that's, that's, what that's what I did. That's what I did, yeah. Right. So I had 315. Yeah. I don't know. That's right. Yeah, the right side of measure four passes, we don't have to do a budget no more. Okay. <laughs> I think there's still a budget, isn't there? I don't know. Yeah, but it's easy. You just submit the same thing every year. It's cheating, then, isn't it? Okay, so what, what did he have on check now? Why does nobody see the humor in that? I thought that was pretty damn funny. It was. <laughs> what did he have? Donnie's so serious in the budget. Look at him. He's like a nerd now. Like, look up. <laughs> uh. Well, okay, the technology part of it. What did he have on next to Last year, 5,500. Huh? Last year, 5,500. Now he's up to nine. No, yeah, he had 4,100. Now he's up to 9,000. Yeah. No, that's actual no, that expenditures. Actual expenditures. Oh, the budget 55. was 5,500. 55 was his salary. Oh, okay. okay. So some of that might have been. She's looking at four grand. Some of that might have been an increase in like that. the tech. Yeah, that was big. That's mine. Yeah, you gotta find a big. That ain't that much, yeah. I got a 218.5 deduct. Page 16, he's got miscellaneous payments. 2024, he had 300,000, now he's got 500,000. What's that about, David? You said 16? Page 16. Page 16. Miscellaneous payments. Oh, I just put miscellaneous payments. In other words, whatever you guys decide to spend it on. That's what I. That's permit fund. That's just That's Marlis's fund. estimation on. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay.
here. Prairie dog revenue is one million one hundred eighty thousand for the twenty twenty five. Yeah, that's what I'm estimating. Yeah, that's what we're probably get. Yeah. Okay. What do we get for the wind tower payments? Or payments Last year we got, it's included in the transmission tax revenue. Um, I believe the wind farm last year was 733000 something like that. It's going to be roughly the same for what, 10 years? Well, it varies every okay. year. It's been going up every year. Okay. The natural gas pipe. Yeah. What's that about? Natural gas, natural gas. I'm not even going to throw a figure at you because I'm not even sure right now. Okay. I could probably find it. I think I had an open records request and I think I could find it on my email. It was like 700000 isn't it? That was Dakota Access. What was uh, okay, Northern that, Border. Northern Border was 700000 too? They were like number two, weren't they? Do you have an email open? No, in my office. For the gas pipeline? Yeah, What's the Northern Water Pipeline? What does that come to? The same amount? I, I'm going to look. I'm going to get it. Just curious. Northern Border. Yeah, what they did last year, right? Right. Yeah. 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 <coughs> Northern Border, I think, pays a little different than the rest of them, because that's not a payment in lieu of taxes, because that's way older. I think they actually pay like an I don't know, I think that's a pill payment, is it? I'm like, no, they call it like a payment in lieu of taxes, which is centrally assessed like that. Dakota Access here. gets a tax statement just like you and I, okay? Mm -hmm. um, MS Logan Wind, that's a, in lieu of taxes. Yes. Border states. And theirs is like an older calculation because that pipeline yeah. is like predates. I believe some of theirs is in lieu also. So. It is, but it's different. They, they actually, I think, pay quite a bit more than like that one. And so we looked that up once before. Last year we did. There was nothing on the sheet. You didn't mine any gravel last no. year. That's why I say I don't know. Yeah, but you're looking at the legacy funds oh, okay. sheet there, so that's that's a whole other different mode. <coughs> The legacy fund payment came from the state, and you took that money and you utilized it against gravel and took the gravel out of the road. The three hundred thousand I got to put in highway tax to fill in the red, and then um, the other legacy I figured for gravel for twenty five. Right. And you said highway tax is taken care of because you transferred in from. I'm going to fund. transfer legacy in and then. Legacy fund money. From and that. I, I kind of heard, at our sixth county meeting that. Um, it sounds like they want to do, the legislators don't want to increase the highway tax distribution, but they're going to try to do some money out of the legacy fund for highway tax. 
Instead of doing a monthly increase, they're going to do a one-time lump sum. <clears throat> so the, you said the highway tax, we don't have to worry about that now? Not right now, no. Okay. That was way off. <coughs> way off. Was on in, how much is it? Yeah. So but it's the northern border. 37,616. So, what's federal aid? What's with the average on there? Hmm? What's with the average on there? So, Dan, what that is, is I got an open records request from the school superintendents. They want to know what the top five tax five top taxpayers are in Emmons County. And they pay. that's what it is. Okay. Those are the highest five. That's <coughs> you can have that copy, I'm sure. Get it? So that was part of an email that was okay. sent out to them. And Josh added on his computer. I have a question for you, Officer Wilhelmser. If you had to figure the square acres in Emmons County, it would be about 965,000 acres. Am I figuring that right? Yes. Okay. The way it looks to me, there's always a struggle to find enough budget to gravel, to haul gravel, correct? Right. And we know in the future, things are going to get harder and harder just the way we're squeezing culvert money today. We talked about that this morning, the amount of culverts in the county. Um, all in the battle. There has been no gravel mined, I'm assuming, since I left, correct? I believe not. And I know they've burned up a lot of gravel. At that time, we had 155,000 at Wolbaum. There was 66,000 left out here at Van Horse. There was about 45,000 down here to Knoll Farm. There was 35,000 to Calvin Bosch Pit. I don't know if I'm missing a picture. It seems to me we're going to have to find another source of revenue to raise. Is it possible that if it came to a vote, and I'm not talking with these taxes, but on the landowners of Emmons County, if, a, if the idea could be sold, uh, would you invest a dollar an acre per year? that it would go just to gravel and hauling gravel. Is that something that could legally be done? I think so. Because I just, I don't, I'm looking at what you guys are doing here, and I'm looking at what Skyler did. Skyler's not here, and like we looked at this morning, all that stack of records. I bet if we would have went through there, remember this morning, we only accounted for like 15 culverts that were put in, and I know there's more, and I know there's a big <coughs> culvert project. We are never going to get ahead of our road system. Never. We are going backwards so fast, in the next 20 years, everything's going to collapse. Mm -hmm. that have, this that infrastructure is so people? aged, it's unreal. Right. right. It's sad when you sit on the road systems, what's happening. Yep. And I said, there's no way we can maintain this Well, you this can't keep up anymore. Right. And it's going to take, I mean, I'm a landowner like everybody else. 
my biggest issue has always been, and I know this isn't popular, but what schools can grab. I'm not knocking schools, but at some point, we have to focus on the county itself, set the schools aside, if they have enough money on what we're getting. If Measure 4 passes, we better be ready. Here's the way I see it. If Measure 4 passes, I don't pay property taxes anymore. We still get the same amount we got this year. It comes from the state. But we'll probably lose the legacy fund. I'm going to have to be willing to step in and say, we have that budget. I'm going to throw another 2 or $3 an acre tax myself. Of course, it'd have to come to a vote. So we'd actually have some money to work with. Mm -hmm. We all understand our road systems are going to hell in a handbag. And I'm seeing what, you know, I like Skylar and everything, but you have to realize he had no skin in the game. Had nothing to do with his qualities management. If you're from Emmons County, you have to live with the people. You have to spend money wisely. But I bet if we were to go pull them records out of the road department, I'd have Kelly break all them down. You'd be amazed at what was spent on what has nothing to do with what they're requesting. We don't have a clear picture, it's too late to do that, but that's why I'm wondering on this land, I think a lot of farmers would go along with that if they knew this money was gonna get used for culverts, split it up in each district. Say each district, we evaluate the culverts, each district gets so much. But a dollar an acre would raise almost a million dollars a year. Now that's not a lot if you lose a million from the state, right? Right. So we got to almost make up two dollars an acre. We're going to have to be willing to do that. There will be no road structure left for the future. So I have a question for you. So like you're saying take like the acres, the land acres. So what about these homeowners that built these $500,000 homes out there along the gravel road someplace that buy like five acres of land? They wouldn't so, have to pay? I don't know how you would do that. If they're using the gravel roads, I'm assuming they probably should, but I don't know how you assess that. I was going to say how you assess that. Equally. Yeah. For, see, for me, thinking like a farmer, it's I got this many acres, I got to give to it. I'm willing to do this. You heard like Gabriel's this morning, they're willing to help, they're willing to spend. Um, <coughs> they're going to have to make some plans to do this because I can mm -hmm. see the struggle this is. Yeah. Something has to change because there's no way we can afford to do this. Well, it's not getting any cheaper. And you watch it, nothing against no one. You just watch the way these roads are being mined yep. when the semis are traveling. They look in that rear view mirror and watch that cloud of dust. That's all mine or gone. And they say, why are these road, the rock coming to the surface? Yeah. Think about it, guys. These roads are being mined when you're driving. Nobody drives 25 miles an hour to try to hold that miner there to keep it. Well, I, I'm thinking we almost have to, as a county, do something. Do something, and one of the first things I would do is I would hire somebody to go out and start locating culverts and inspecting them, tell them which ones are bad. And it would take an individual to run roads, and I'm sure it would take almost a year to do it. But at least the next set of commissioners then would have a rough idea of the dollar amount, how many culverts they need. Right. If there's three, 4,000 culverts, maybe we're lucky, maybe there's only 2,000. There have been a lot that have been replaced already that wouldn't, but we're not getting ahead of anything here. We're just kicking the can down the road till we're all dead, and nobody else is going to be able to pick these. We're going to be back to section lines. Did the Scotland start to GPS these? Well, didn't calls? you do that, Francis, when you were on board? Didn't you go out and do an assessment? on the number of culverts and what had to be replaced or where they were at? The ones we replaced. All okay. care. We had all those, and, and the county has done a way better job now because you guys gave them the money for the tooling. They're actually GPS locating them. Yep, yep. I think and, we're um, and, and things like that, so they're, they're doing much better. But it would take, taking an individual, and it doesn't have to be a high expensive person, just say, we want you to run these roads, and you'd be amazed how many roads you could take pictures of and say these culverts that are at the end. But at some point, we got to put a plan together here. But a lot of the old culverts that are in place aren't adequate for the water to move through. Right. They were just thrown in just as a, a straw on the road. Right. But they weren't adequate to move the, the water like it should. Right. And then they would back up and silt, and then eventually they'd flood. Well, they probably never did hydraulic 
in their hands. No, they never had nothing like that. Well, like out where I live, back when you know Jerome used to farm, they'd all that sand blowing. I must have Dan Culver's book. Oh, We're gonna yeah. put them out this fall. But are any of them Culver shot at some point? Um, I, I'm looking at you guys looking at a budget. You're trying to go off a road supervisor that isn't here. And it's like Commissioner Magrum said, he's going to ask for a racehorse, and we might get a kitten when we're done, but that isn't doing us any good. Right. Um, it's going to pound us into ground. So when you set your gravel budget, was there any money for trucking in there? No. I'd say no. And then the other thing you have to realize, if you go out for gravel now, I mean, I know where there's some gravel sources. I don't know that Skyler found any, but... If everybody comes in and says, I want five, six, seven dollars a yard or a ton, that wool bomb gravel cost us two dollars royalty. That's all it was. Back then. Back then, that was cheap gravel. It came about six dollars a yard, but they burned through a lot of that. And what's going to happen in two years, there's not going to be any gravel to haul. We need somebody to look for gravel, talk to farmers. The farmers are going to have to say, I don't want the moon. But maybe work with the county and say, you can mine gravel here. Just pay for it as you take it. Pay for it as you use it. <coughs> I'm thinking for this year, you're kind of stuck. You're going to have to get by in the budget the way you can. But we're going to have to have some better plans. we got to somebody break down Skyler's numbers from last year, like Kelly did here. Break these down. What are our road departments actually? You get Russ Lawler on, he might be super aggressive. You know, he, he, but is he going to do it on roads? Is he going to want to do culverts? What's he going to want to do? Well, the bad part about it is, is the road department only has a little budget, a little piece of that pie. The rest of all the school districts do not have that. They can do whatever they want. You know what I mean? As far as um, collecting mills and whatever else, and if they need more. They just waste it because they, they have to, they're going to take it, you know what I mean? Well, that's the way I feel. Every department struggles except schools. Schools pull almost, what, 50% Marcy? Yeah. And that's so, what it costs to operate them. I'm not going to knock them, it's just, it's the cost of doing it. Well, I mean, some of that's kind of foolish, too. It probably doesn't cost that much to operate them, but they're wasteful. I mean, they're wasting a lot. Because they don't need that much, but if they don't take it, they're going to lose it. So why not take it? So the, a lot That's of the mentality. They're forced to take it, yeah. They're forced to take it or they lose the money. Yeah. I mean, it's wasteful spending. But it's that still comes down to if, if we want roads, um, we better start putting some, the, some people in to number one, inventory what we have and the quality of what we have. And then start making plans in the future to start visiting with people. I remember when Ken Wolbaum, when I was on, you know, I struggled to keep ahead of the roads. You were, I didn't have people happy either, no more than Skyler, no more than Russell. Ken said to me, I'll give you a dollar an acre more if you can grade my roads more out. I've heard a lot of people approach me on that. Right. I'll pay you two, three bucks an acre more. Yeah. Just give us a legitimate service. Right. But they and don't understand the cost. It's not even the mining, it's the hauling. Yeah, but how do you, how do, you do that? That's the problem. I'd raise it. You got certain individuals that are willing to yeah. help out, but then there's some that are. Yeah. Not everybody's going to be that old. No, no. Yeah, but you guys are kind of forgetting the basis of this whole problem. This whole problem we have right here is what the law says we can. We can do it. Hands are tied. You can, it, unless they're going to put it in a cookie jar for us. We can't ask for any more than we're already asking for. Well, that's yeah. not that. It's not a dollars and cents issue. It's not a broke issue. We could go through and. We could probably spend an extra million on this budget and absorb it through the county land taxes. I mean, a lot of people probably wouldn't be concerned if it was used the way we want to use it. Skyler's analogy on this was he was asking for more culvert, more gravels, and more contractors, which is exactly what everybody's been asked for <coughs> all summer. But if you can only but, I mean, pull 428000 in this budget from these people, you can ask for $10 million. It doesn't matter. You can only pull 428000 We're not cutting to try and save people even money right now, we're just cutting to get in line with the law. Right. That's all we're doing right now. Right. So, so can we as a county collect more money? No, that's what I'm we're getting at. We're max, we are at the max. Like yeah, you can start doing a few other things like Marla said, you can you can cap out another mill like the capital projects and you can transfer some funds over, which we are doing. 
you know, you can utilize some funds if, if you have permit funds like we have. Not every county even has that. I mean, you can max out some other budget items, but you're still talking, you're going to pull two, 300000 from one budget, and you've got a shortfall of $800,000 a year to match the loss. So but can you start another? another, <coughs> another um, well, you can entity. probably start some different entities, but a lot of that's usually low to the people. If you're going to start another entity, like... Well, no, like, he's talking like if you'd start another fund, or if you'd right. increase the fund, like we just did. We had the federal aid that we had on the ballot. You'd have to put it on the ballot. Well, and we could, you know, we could always pull, like, 100000 the general fund, too, but it's too late to do that now. Yeah, I know, but I'm right. just saying down, 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 August, you know. down the road, if just for, for roads or something, can a guy have a special entity set up that a guy could collect money for? How? That's what I'm asking. Where can you, you do it? That's what he's talking about, the specials. Right. He's I'm talking about you got to go to vote at the <coughs> That's what I'm asking. You're already maxed out, but the state will allow you. We know there's no way up. Right. So we got two ways to go. Either Measure 4 is going to fail. We are going to be stuck on our max mills, which we have to raise some more money by a vote of the people. The state cannot stop us from doing that, can they? No. no. Okay. So if they can't, and if Measure 4 passes, you're still going to get that money every year. We're still going to pony up some money, but at least at that point, we have to over it. Let's just say the sheriff department and the road department needs this much. We can go out to the taxpayer and say, hey, if you want roads to drive on, if you want gravel, it will be a long-term building process. This is what you have to pay. If somebody comes out to me and says, will you throw $5,000 more a year into this tax system, I'm going to say yes if I get something out of it. But if we continue to go with not replacing culverts, fixing roads, what would be the purpose of it? Right. Well, that's I mean, the way it seems now. So tax. even if Measure 4 passes, we st can still do specials. Oh. You can still what? Do specials. Right. Yeah. I'm actually not scared of Measure 4 because it will put control back in us. If Right now I'm paying $6.41 an acre on my property in Emmons County, which is an out of hand. McIntosh is seven forty five, so they're close. If Measure 4 passes <laughs> and i got to come to Emmons County, and they say, you know, we need another six dollars and forty-one cents from you because what the state's given us, as long as it's spent wise, I don't mind doing that. I'm already paying it. See, we talked about that this morning. Let's say we go three years without really needing big increases. Step Fulo said this. You guys would come to us landowners and say, hey, you've saved money for three, four years now. Are you willing to give a couple bucks an acre. I agree with them. Why? Well, I think and the people know. will say, more than likely won't <laughs> will agree. Yeah, people didn't have to speak No that. way. You know, There's no so way. No way. I don't believe that. Well, I don't believe that for a second. That people would well, say 10000 a year and then at some point we'd want well, to ask for it back. Well, ask for 10000 for me, but a buck an acre, so that would be like on my farm, a couple $2,000. I don't know. Right, but that means... We still got to account for inflation and other things, so it's a dollar next year, and then it's a dollar twenty-five a year. Yeah, that's happening to us anyway, right? Well, right. It would be a reset, is what all I think that it would end up being, because you're going to end up doing the set. They, we're, we're. You're already at the end of the road, Commissioner. Right, I agree, and I, but my point is, is that, that we're, 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 we don't. we're trying to solve the problem from the back end. I mean, the biggest issue we're dealing with is we have. We have inflation and price changing and all this stuff that we have absolutely no control over, so we're trying to salvage one part or the other, but it's still not going to be able to dictate the things that are just... I mean, look at what you spend on things today versus what you spent two, three years ago. I mean, a perfect example is, is I, I have a battery for my boring machine that tells me where the locator is and all that stuff. It was $150 six months ago, it's $190 now. It's just an example of another $40 increase on a small part of my business that happens every day all the time. And these entities like the county here get crushed by it no different than anywhere else. And so that's where it's, you know, debating measure four one way or the other, there's going to be pros and cons no matter which way it goes. I don't, I'm not going to disagree with that, but the struggle that we're having more than anything is just this county was built in my opinion, dirt cheap a long time ago with muckers Love and dozers and, and volunteer labor. Now we're trying to maintain it with a paid and fully benefited force and it just can't happen. But it doesn't matter. It just, I mean, even if you look at the, just every aspect of it is, 
<laughs> it's going to be almost impossible to manage. For, and we're not the only county struggling with it. That's the thing. I mean, that, that's the reason why the issues that we're having are okay. existing right now. So you could reason. hear it down in Rapid City and home suppliers. They said it is tightened up so tight. The economy right now, people are choking <coughs> back. They're not spending a dime. They want to see what this election will do. They're so damn scared of this. It's unreal. Well, the way this whole thing is going, like farmers, we don't have no control over any of our products either. And now every every time there's something happens like here, well, go to go to the land, raise your taxes. Right. Your taxes. Yeah. Well, yeah. Now we're supposed to pay for it. But we yeah. couldn't even get that in this year anymore. <coughs> but well, I mean, somehow yeah. we got to figure out something for this year. Well, for this well, year, this year it's going to. It, 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 I mean, yeah. the, the, the this year you got to get a certain percent increase from what it was last year. Who is your homie? You can be the person that goes around what? and checks on the percent increase from what it was last year. Place that on the budget, yeah. 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 and don't go with these ridiculous numbers. That we, we got it. We well, it doesn't matter because what we're realizing is, like in the county road and bridge, Marla's carried over three hundred sixty thousand from last year that we're not carrying over again. So we can't even budget for the funds we budgeted for last year because we're not. Carrying over those funds, yeah. So we can't even cut the 1.4 million Skyler was asking for down to 815 and go, okay, we'll just spend what we spent last year. We're still over 300,000 dollars. Equipment lease and alone, right? Over. So basically, if you want to start fixing these budgets, I kind of have a rough idea and I'll go over. Basically, you zero everything out in the county road and bridge budget and you put $571,600 in for equipment lease payments, because that's kind of an immovable number, and we've committed to that. Five so seventy-one. much would you put in there? You put well, 571600 and the reason why I did that is I took, I took 1.421 million, which was the requested amount, and I minus the short goal. And that came out to 571,600 was a rounded number. But, yeah, it was it's 98. but I just took that and I put it on the one number that it matched and I zeroed everything out because what else are you going to well, do? Well, that's, that's what I thought. Yeah, you got to zero, you 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 gotta zero everything out so and put that in there. My previous comment down. to you guys was not to get too hung up on saying we're not going to spend a nickel on engineering out of the county road and bridge. We're not going to. But there are other funding sources where we, we want to do a project, we're just going to have to make sure that we follow the processes to budget for it you from a different maybe. fund or you appropriate it out of your permit fund. Maybe there's some state funding that will come later, but for the budgeting purposes, you're just basically going to have to zero these numbers, some of these line items out and oh, just assume yeah. we're not going to yeah. spend money. We're not levying tax money for that specific line item. You're just zeroing it out. Zero it out. That's right. the only way you're going to make these balances. Exactly. You're not going to be able to just take 20 here and 10 here. You're going to spend no. all day here and it'll never work. So. No, I agree with what you're saying. There's with the federal aid budget, basically we needed to cut out 281000 652. I just took 300000 off of the construction. So I went from 850000 to 550000 I know it's a rounded number. It's about 19 or eighteen thousand four hundred off, but it was just a clean. So you'd spend five fifty on construction for the federal aid, and I wouldn't touch any of the other stuff, and then that one would come into compliance. All we do is just go by what you've got there. Yep. And put it. Basically, you're just minusing out of right. it. But and the the road district one is a little harder because there were several other things. But basically, what I did is I zeroed out contractors, I zeroed out road equipment purchases. I cut culverts from two hundred thousand to one hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. I took a hundred thousand off of miscellaneous clean rock, so I went from one hundred forty thousand to forty thousand. Mm -hmm. And I took parts, labor, and supplies from one ninety-five down to one forty-five, and that gave us a cut of six hundred and ten thousand, which that's a little heavy. That's about forty thousand more than we have to. But I was just taking round numbers and minusing them. Reason why I say that too is because if we're short on culverts, we can probably appropriate out of that permit fund. That's a legitimate reason to do it. If we're going to purchase a piece of equipment, we can, you know, if we're just going to have to be really tight. We're going to buy something, then it's going to have to be worthy of appropriating oh. from another fund. We're mm -hmm. just basically going to say we're not going to purchase any equipment this year unless it's an absolute. Sure, there was a talk about a payload, but we don't really need that the way it sounds. Well, good. even if you don't need it, it look to, if you're going to. If I'm just going to use blunt words, can't afford it. <laughs> unless you, like I said, unless you have remainders from, you know, the end of the year, we need one thing or the other. We might be able to carry over 100000 We don't know yet. That's Marlis's estimation. She's probably pretty close. But, you know, that's not a perfect number. So you're just going to have to cut out as much as you need to to get this budget balanced and legal. Right. Well, just so we have some left in the other funds, but tell me all that. I mean... <coughs> 
Well, if there's one thing I have kind of noticed, if you look at some of these funds, some of them are, I don't want to say over budgeted, but some of them you budget for things yeah, no. and you don't end up utilizing all, like federal aid, if you don't do a project or something, there's some extra money there and you can utilize some of that funding in a different fund. I mean, it's all, all of those funds are kind of put together into the road department and then you appropriate year over year. So you might overspend on tires and repairs, but you have money left over in clay and rock, so it's the same difference. You're just, can we, you're just trying to line item it for organization. If we got something like that in federal aid, can we, if it's earmarked for federal aid, can we take it out later and use it if we don't? Uh, Federal aid was voted on to pay the 20% bonds of federal aid projects. So you can't use the federal aid fund in a non federal aid project. project. Oh, okay. So it's got to stay with that. It's got to be on a federal aid project. Okay. It's, you know, right, that one's a little more isolated, but like County Road and Bridge and Road District, you can kind of mold them two yeah. in together. Like if you have money left over in your road district on a specific line item, especially, then you can switch. let's just say you have a couple employees that end up quitting on you and you don't spend near as much on health benefit or Medicare yeah. or something, that's money you, you can, can utilize to fuel. So, yeah. so, so I wouldn't get too hung up on every specific item because some of these items are probably over budgeted already. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so that's where... And then the highway tax, Marlowe's figures she has enough transferred over from the legacy fund and other funding mechanisms. I don't know what next year's going to bring. But well, we don't know what next year's going to bring, so. How about unorganized, un, um, organized road? District. Well, unorganized road is the road district, right? Yeah. So yeah. That's, yeah. it's called one thing on one sheet, one on another. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. I mean, the road district one's the biggest one where you got to take four or five numbers and take them apart, or you just got to zero out a couple big line items, but that one's maybe a little bit risky on that one just because you're. You're kind of shorting yourself something specific. Yeah, that curious kind of state of 16. That's a small deal. That's two grand. So yeah. Big deal, you know. Purse, you can't touch that. Well, in the PERS health benefit, there's kind of an increase in there. Are you expecting an increase in PERS health right, insurance? That's... No, but with the 4% increase on wages, you figure. Oh, yeah, 4%. That's, right. uh, yeah. that's almost, that's almost, well, it's 40. Forty thousand dollars for four yep. percent. Yep. He went up to a little bit too much, I think. And then the PERS, another four <coughs> percent. So you should take if if it was forty thousand increase, you should just take that times sixteen point two six percent. That's what the increase should have been. Oh, that was part of the allowance. Say that again. If the four percent amounted to another forty thousand dollars, you would take that forty thousand times sixteen point two six percent. And that's what the PERS would increase. It's that much? 16.26% of the gross, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> You're on video. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's 10 more bucks he can add into the budget because Donald's got to put it in the swear jar, so. <laughs> no. You want to tack that back on gravel, you go right ahead. <clears throat> So for the sake of time here, so when I'm here, I'm like, yeah. the county road and bridge, are we in agreement? We're just going to put $571,600 for equipment leasing and zero out the rest of the items? I yeah. see, yeah. And that will yeah. balance that budget item? So yeah. that's county road and bridge? Yeah. <coughs> Federal aid, we took 300000 out of the general construction, basically, or the construction yeah, right. cost. So that went from eight hundred and fifty down to 550000 on the construction side. Yep, and that would that would bring federal aid back into compliance. Highway tax is made compliance. The capital projects I think will leave because that would probably cover any any other we can transfer one. over from some of these other cuts we're making in these other instances. So so if we're putting in the line items, I would leave everything the same in road district except I would put zero for contractors, zero for road equipment purchases. I do culverts at a hundred thousand. Parts, labor, and supplies at a hundred and forty-five thousand. And you could probably, so like I said, I went a little too far. So on miscellaneous for the rock and all that, we could probably do. I went to forty, got you. Got forty. Well, I went to forty, but then that took us down to six hundred and ten thousand out of there. We only need to take five hundred and seventy-four, basically five hundred and seventy-five. 
So that would be what you could put about thirty to thirty-five thousand back on. So actually, you put thirty-five thousand. That put seventy-five thousand. Would be the same as last year. Yeah. And that would put us pretty much on the money with covering the shortfall. So that's going to pretty well cover those shortfalls and put the budgets in line. So when you come for a total, do you have any idea? <coughs> That means the total amount requested for the road district would be one million three hundred four thousand five hundred fifty dollars. Basically, we cut five hundred seventy-five thousand out of it. You asked for five seventy-four two seventy-two. Oh, You're oh, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> But you cut another really seven hundred thirty. Well, like I said, you're not cutting out funds that you weren't really spending in the first place. This is money you were asking for to try and meet the needs that we. This is the money we should be asking for to agree with what Francis is saying. If this is what you wanted to get ahead of your roads, that's what you would what have, you to, spend. have to spend. You just can't. No, you just can't. But yeah. I don't think without a strategic plan, Commissioner Magrum. <laughs> ourselves or get it from the state we really need forward to have a plan assess our culverts assess all that for a long-term plan we need a long-term plan yeah. no doubt about it because I, I you know I never got one done and we sure should and I'm sure Skyler didn't get it done it, it, yeah it takes one special guy to do it and we just have to face reality it's like Commissioner Maggard said this inflation it isn't going any cheaper no and 20 years goes by fast if we can make some progress on it. Well, there's there's one thing I can say is I'm coming out of the end of my six years as county commissioner. I've been through three road superintendents, and all three road superintendents liked the idea of a plan until we got absolutely slaughtered. <laughs> with We had a horrible winter in 19. And then we spent most of that spring, summer, fall, and the remaining year fixing the frost boils from that horrible winter. And then we spent the rest of that summer and into 20 repairing Rice Lake and the roads around that that were underwater and the Westfield area and some roads in the Braddock area. Then we had our gigantic nine and a half or ten and a half inch rain up around the entire Braddock area. I mean, every time we've come through with like we're finally gaining the momentum. This is where we need to be, and we need to start building off this. Forget it's about the natural thing. disaster, essentially. So, I mean, look at how far that put you guys back when we got that 10-inch rain up there. Just everything you had planned for the rest of the summer pretty much got destroyed. It did, but think about it like this. Had we just five years ago talked to farmers and say, and I should say landowners, would you contribute $2 an acre? We would have raised... $10 million by taxing ourselves an additional $2 an acre. So that $10 million today will go a long way. And I know it, it's easy to say sitting in here, I'll throw a couple of dollars in. And you're right, are you going to go out or are you going to get the votes? But at some point we have to realize $6.41 an acre my cost. I know there's people up probably close to 10 We're going to have to invest something if we're going to continue to use our road structure and that time goes by fast. We, we come into our county fisher, it's like the ripping everybody got this summer, right? If your hands are tied, I don't care if you think your road supervisor does a good job, bad job, he only has so many employees, so many graders, and so much gravel. If we don't put a plan together, it's not going to get any better. <coughs> <clears throat> That's one thing we never did yet either. You know, That's the summer they wanted a plan. Those people would have forced your guys to plan. Yes, huh? We never did get a plan. We never did get a plan. What is a plan, plan for what? Well, this summer when all those people were in, you know, everybody said we want a plan. They said, what are you guys going to do? What's your plan? What's your plan? Well, well we're yeah, making sure. it right now. Huh? We're telling the public, okay, if you want a plan, we all have to contribute. I sat here too this summer and I, and I complained. 
It's management. We are part of management. We all are. We all are. We all are. We all have to change. We all have to say this is what it's going to cost to do business. And if we can convince the public, we need to see if Measure 4 is going to pass or not pass. But even there, we have to make a plan for the future. And that being the case, at some point, we're going to have to come back in here and get out to the public and start explaining this is where we're at. I, I can see you guys don't have the answer. If I was sitting there, I wouldn't have the answer. Cutting, cutting the budget just to get by every year is important. No, but we don't, want, we don't want to raise taxes on the people. We can't hardly afford it already. We're cheap here compared to a lot of other states. We are. Very cheap. Yeah. Per acre. Yeah. You go south of here into some of these states, it's spending. Go to Nebraska. Go to Nebraska. I'm just going to say it. Huh? 50 to $75 an, an acre. acre. Some of the ground. How much? 50 to 75 50 bucks an acre. For taxes? What? For taxation. But they must, I wonder, huh? what, how do they make the revenue off that land? Or what's the revenue of that? They well, probably you have look. to look at their property in the eastern part of the Nebraska, where it's worth. But it, it doesn't change it to us. If I'm at 641 today, my road systems are going to help. If I, if I spend $2 more a year, and everybody else does, or even a dollar a year, and in 10 years, all of a sudden, we've raised $10 million more. We utilize it, plan it, don't waste it. We're not sharing it with anything except the county side of the business. That money would go a long way. Yeah. I invest in equipment, I invest in everything, but at some point, that are we just uh, we gotta eliminate some of the roads. Uh, and but that, you start uh, doing that, people go ballistic. Happen, right? Even in the winter months, Francis. Yep. When you try to shut some of these roads down that are used to <coughs> harvest strictly. Some people go ballistic, but I said, come on, guys, it's only realistically possible to cut some of this fat and open just the main arteries. And you guys got to come into it and feed off of that and come in. But they don't want to do that. I pay these taxes and I want it all. Yeah, and we got to get to that argument. Because this has been going on for how many years, Commissioner uh, Otter Olhauser, where you've been coming here struggling? Ten years? Not well, quite ten. I would probably say six or seven, maybe. You know, the, and the point you make, Commissioner Manger, is exactly right. Every year brings an emergency, whether it's winter or summer. It doesn't matter. The one thing you have to keep in mind, those big projects that the county has done the last 20 years, they're done. Rice Lake, that, that should hold a long time. There's been a lot of headway that's been built. 7th Avenue going all the way down. A lot of these federal aid roads, they're nice. Go from Tembic out to the river, nice road. Go Tembic east with the wind towers, all that gravel they put on there. You know, Al's kept that rolled up nice. A lot of them roads are really nice. We have a lot of good stuff. We just have secondary roads we gotta work on in culverts. It's not that the whole county is junk, but it's gonna be if we don't, you guys got really good grade operators right now. They don't have enough time, but they're all pretty good. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of bright, I see way more bright in the county than I do negative, but we stay in the same path. I see a lot of negative then. I think one of the things that, you know, it's, it's a very good conversation you're having here, absolutely. And I think that the theme this summer at these, these hearings from the public is, it was reoccurring all the time, and that is, what is your plan? What is your plan? You heard it once, you heard it a dozen times. Yeah. And again, I think the consensus here, and, and I think it's a great idea, I think everybody in the room here does, but if we talk about it today and walk out of here, and then come back in November, and you talk about a plan, and then in December, and January, at some point you got to pull the trigger, either putting a working committee together, a small group of people, you don't want two larger ones, but start coming up with a plan. I think that's like what Francis said, either having somebody go out and do some assessments, somebody that's dedicated, that's all they're going to do, to bring that information, that data back. But at some point, you've got to pull the trigger and have come up with a plan. Thanks. Talking about it is great, but if that's all you ever do is talk about it and never come up with it, that's what frustrates a lot of people. I think that's what our problem is. We just right. talk about you it. You talk about it, 
<laughs> and then a month later we have a meeting and you talk about it again, yeah. and a month later you talk about it again. And in the meantime, nothing three, four, or six months went by and there's still nothing going forward. At least having a committee, some type of working committee together that can start sitting at the table and, and working on something to bring it to the commission. You can either have one or two commissioners on it, and maybe one or two people, one person from each district, a citizen, landowner that has some background, you know, someone like Francis or somebody in another district that has some background that could be, you know, bring something to the table and but, wants to be there. But us as public, we got to be able to come down here if it's a five or ten or twenty year plan. We got to be able to look at that and then you can tell us why we're doing that. And that's where I think a lot of people agree, but we need something to look at. You know, and I know you guys are busy, but that's the only way it's going to work, like Gary's saying. we got to have something to look at. About three years ago, I visited with Milo Kramer down here. I don't know if you guys ever heard of culvert inserts, but they're inserts you put inside existing culverts. It's cheaper, and you put them in inserts, and you can probably get another 30 years out of them. Clean the culverts out, put your insert in, but, um, you know, Sheriff Sanders is <coughs> And I think you'll have to get, you're going to have to get to an election to know which way it's going to go uh, to do that. But either way, whether Measure 4 passes or doesn't pass, we still have to go forward. We need our road system. But I'm looking at just funding the 50% of the county that is non-school. It just focuses on sheriff and everything else that's on, you know, below that school zone. Because we have enough to worry about with that. But I just don't know if it's legal to do it, so. I think it is. I don't know. Amy, what do you think? I'm sure, I'm sure people have to vote on well, it. Well, it, yeah. it goes back to, again, a, a special. You know, cities have specials all the time. Yeah. You talked about it at one point a year or two ago on a cat tip in Beaver Bay for those private roads. They wanted, you know, county road service out there. Then there was talk about either a home association or, uh, you know, kind of deal with a special tax. But I think the first thing is you got to get a group of people at the table to talk about a plan going forward. Um, a working group of some sort, one or two commissioners and three or four people from, from outside this room, mm -hmm. so to speak, from the board, and, and giving updates and having meetings to try and come up with a plan and just work it forward from there. But you got to start somewhere at, at step one. I agree. You know, you've had people at your meetings here previously that have, you know, a background in road construction. You're probably good candidates to make you sit on a working group. Someone like Francis that was a road superintendent and got that history and that background can bring a lot to that working group. And then having that working group report to the whole group. Um, but let them start that process at some point. It's you gotta you gotta start it at some point. Talking about it's great. Everybody agrees, but you've got to get it going because pretty soon, it's six months later, it's nine months later, a year goes by, and you still don't have nothing going, and that's the tough part. Well, it's always easier to sell if you have a plan. It's hard to sell something if you don't have anything set up. Well, it's hard to have a plan if you don't have any consistency to it because I can tell you one thing: in the, last, in the next, over the last eight years now, after this next election, there's going to be ten different commissioners and four different road superintendents. I'd like to see anybody that's developed consistency in eight years with that kind of changeover. It kind of looks more like a bad NFL team. So, I mean, at the same point, everybody's asking for a plan and this common sense idea. How do you have a plan when the players keep changing every other year? So, I mean, somebody's going to have to come up with something, but then who's going to stick to it a year or two later when the faces all change again? So, I mean, you got to remember some of that when you're trying to go into a direction with certain people and certain things. The plan can't change the second that somebody's unhappy. Like, we're going to do this, and then as soon as 5 or 10 or 20 people come in the room saying they're unhappy, you totally change it and decide just to do something else to get those 20 people to stop yelling. You're going to have to decide to do something, whether it's hire contractors, hire certain things, and then you're going to have to stick with it and weather the storm. That's the whole point of a plan. Otherwise, it's not a plan if you don't stick to it the second it gets tough. So, I don't disagree with the comments being made, but I am going to disagree with the fact that 
if nobody's around to see the plan through, you can talk all day long and it doesn't matter. So, for the sake of time, so I want to be here all night. We agreed on the county road and foot bridge. We agreed on federal aid, road district, highway tax, capital roads, for capital project for roads. Were there any other budgets that were out of order? Those were the four. So how much would our mills go up then? <coughs> we have no mill increase now? Oh, I think we had to set up the mill increase. The mill levies were set. You just had yeah. to cut down. That's yeah. Okay, yeah. How, much, so much. how many mills did we get from last year? You know? Yeah, I got it all in that sheet that I gave you this morning. So even with all that cutting, you're still looking at an 18% increase? Yeah, so last year we had 76.48 mills, now it's going to be 88.92. How much? 88.92. So it's a 12.44 mill increase overall. 12 mills. Thanks. <coughs> yeah, you're still looking at an increase of almost $600,000, even after everything we just did. 42,878. Five hundred twenty thousand. Yeah, there must have been a couple little changes here. Five hundred eighty-eight thousand. What's going on? Yeah. What about four uh, percent raise? <coughs> Well, if you were going to do any more cutting on that, I would suggest taking some off the emergency fund. Yeah, I would. because I don't, I don't think we need seven hundred thousand in there. And I know Marcy and I have had our differences on cutting from the emergency fund, but I think we could pull hundred thousand off there. We'd still be in very good shape on the emergency. Fund. That's what I would do before. Yeah. And what are we still going for? The full percentage? Right. You said even yourself with the four percent increase. What the heck was that for a total increase in the budget? I didn't have that all up. I didn't it's quite good. Yeah. Well, that's good. 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 That's there's barely an increase on anything else. Well, so what is the total for? 4%, Four percent overall? I never did it. I didn't know you wanted me to do that, but I didn't well, know. Yeah, I really don't want to cut the 4% off. We're trying to get the wages up there, and then, then we all of a sudden we cut them back again. I just shouldn't take, like Aaron said, uh, take out the well, urgency fund. Okay, so Keep the roof over. Keep the roof over. Okay, I just kind of went through and kind of looked at last year's and then this year's with 4% on the courthouse um, offices and that came to about 29000 And then you got to figure the road departments, yeah. I think that was 30000 <coughs> That's not what it refers, though, right? That's not what it refers. So you could take that times 16.26%.
Well, you're just going to have to take three mills off the emergency and three mills off capital projects. You just have to cut them in half. Three from the emergency and three from capital? You're still looking at a 10% increase even if you do that? Roughly, probably nine and a half. I was using rounded math, but you're at an 18% increase right now. All that stuff we took out of the road districts and all that stuff, and that still just brought us to a legal budget that's 18% increase from last year. That's insane. And we're not really doing anything different. I just thought bringing that in for capital projects would help your shortage. It would, but you're going to be increasing 18%. I mean, it's just, that's a lot. That's a lot. Unless you guys don't want to do that. I mean, that's the simplest math to do it because they're both going up about six mils. You just cut it in half. That's a lot. It is. It's cutting a lot. And it goes to, it kind of defeats the purpose of what you were trying to accomplish earlier with raising funds to do other things, but... 18% is a pretty big increase. Right. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. If anybody told you whatever you were buying this year is going up 18%, you'd, you'd come on glue. It's $56 probably, a year and a $100,000 home. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So it's 250 or 275, almost $300 on a $500,000 home. Which there's plenty of those too. I just look at the shortage in the road runs that we had here and that extra bringing in capital projects would help. I, I'm just saying, you know, I don't know. Every year that we've cut the road funds down, and it kind of seems like May of the next year, we can use, we can use that money. Well, we can use it every year. You don't have to cut any of that. The balance, the budget is technically balanced and legal with the changes we did to the road stuff. Mm -hmm. But we're still raising five hundred and seventy mm -hmm. five hundred dollars more. You know what I mean? There is a lot. That's a lot of money. <coughs> it's an increase of almost six hundred thousand yeah. dollars. Like I said, Marlis' she years is eighteen point two percent. So, so if we cut that in half. Then you're looking at about a 9 to 10% increase, which I don't think is completely out of line. No. No, you're going to have to have an increase simply. Well, I mean, that's just the difficulty of it. I mean, you've seen what we've done here. We've gone through all these things. There's just not a lot. And you can go through the line items, sheriff's department, all that other stuff. If you look at their budget yeah, and how they're on track this year, they're yeah. on track pretty much spend what they budgeted. It's yeah, not like anybody's... Yeah, that's all. Good. There's not a lot of extra out there. The only real slush if there is any is sometimes in the road funds there are certain things just because you you budgeted for something and you ended up not doing it, it but that doesn't mean you don't overspend on tires or fuel or something else and it kind of comes out in the wash and in the grand scheme of things we're budgeting roughly about 10 million ish dollars and we're going to spend 90 to 95 percent of that there's going to be a couple hundred thousand left over on all these line items all these pages they're going to have one or two percent left over that's it. It's not much. <clears throat> and look at the years where you carried over 360000 and then you built on that budget, and the next year you don't carry that over. Now you got to cut it back up. So you're really just borrowing year to year anyway. So that's what happened to us. I mean, that's why this big surprise. How can you cut more than we even budgeted last year? Well, we carried over, and this year we didn't. Or we're not anticipating to. There could be a difference in the number, but it's not going to be a huge difference. So. How many acres of cropland did, did you say were in the country? <coughs> How many acres of what? 965,000. How much? It's like 9,000 9, something. 9,000. Right, Josh? Huh? Total. No, it'll be less than that. That's total acres That's of the total. county. That's total acres. Probably 700 or something. How much? It's in the 700 to 800,000, probably more. Okay. Of taxable ag land, if we go off of that. You can't count the uh, school land in there too, can you? Or is that not included in the total acreage that we figure? I think that total acres is the whole county right. land mass, you know, yeah. not taxable acres. Right, and then you take out school land, which we don't get any tax on that, right? Yeah, then in lieu of stuff. So how much you just said? Yeah, and like all the Corps of Engineers stuff, I mean, they have part of that too, so. <coughs> that's 
Probably about I can get the real numbers out of my office if you want. It'll take me a little bit, but. That's right. Yeah, we're not going to be assessing any new taxes. No, we're not. <laughs> yeah. Let's try, let's try and just get the accomplished the taxes we're already assessing, folks. Okay, well, the big question is do you want to do anything? Capital, capital projects and emergencies, where it all is. The rest of it is less than a tenth of a percent, most of it. What are you going to do with the capital project? Leave it at 80 grand? No, I'm talking back. I'm back to this sheet. Oh, that sheet, okay. Because this is Marlis's, but now that we're to this point, essentially we've short, we created all the, short, or fixed all the shortfalls. Okay. So now we're to this, which is Marlis's budget that would be legal, but that's the increases and in basically that's so, that's so, where we're uh, on. Well, that's where you are increasing the $588,860. It's essentially those two. Those two total $560,000. Those through. are the two problem childs. You eliminate those, you basically wouldn't increase that no. at all. So what you do to those will dictate your increases. Well, I was just going to say that across that many acres is $1.22 an acre more for taxes. <coughs> if you were just going to take this number in all the acres? Yeah. yeah. Well, that doesn't work, though. No, I don't. But I'm just saying Some people that's... pay more on their houses than their acres. Right. Don's trying to figure out an increase, so he, when he goes out and gets coffee and they threaten to beat him up, he says, it's only a dollar something an acre. Oh, 26 an acre. <laughs> so what you got to figure out is what is the value of an acre? Oh, it went up 3%. You guys grew the 92%. We're at 89 So it went up 3%, the value, from last year. I don't remember what that average. You, can you go on to Dakota for a while? No, on this computer. Huh. I can go on that's insane, too. But so if it's 600, let's oh, just say it's the land going on. Yeah, but the taxable valuation on an acre of land on the average is the county's like $700 an acre. I think it's seven. Yeah, it's seven. Yeah. Yeah. Just because this land is going for 73 and 6,800 and 75. Right. And it's got nothing to do with it. But I mean, when, when, I mean, so sometimes when I go, well, geez, it went up 3%, percent like the taxable valuation is what, around $700 yeah, an acre? Yeah, around that. Because pasture's probably under and farmland's a little older. Pasture's old. like $170 an acre. And yeah, and farm ground's like 800, 900. 800, yeah, yeah. It comes out. Yeah, something like that. <coughs> it's not even at $1,000 an acre taxable I'm value. That is what I'm wondering. So what I do... Because it doesn't go up based on sales. It's based on... Soils and right. yeah. production and yields of corn, yeah. wheat, and soybeans are the yeah. main the So what I did is an average of six hundred dollars an acre. I took that times one hundred and sixty for a quarter of land, which comes to ninety six thousand dollars. Okay, that would be the true and false. Divide that by two would be the assessed value times ten percent. You come up with forty eight hundred, which would be the taxable valuation. Mm -hmm. You take that times the twelve point four four mil increase comes to fifty nine dollars and seventy one cents per quarter. It per would quarter. go up by keeping the mills the way we have them now. It would go up that much. Fifty nine dollars and seventy one cents a, qu a quarter. Yeah. So if you want to take that divided by one hundred sixty, it come up to thirty seven cents an acre. That's still. Still enough, you know what I mean? Huh? Still enough. Yeah, but that's cheap. That's a matter of opinion, Commissioner yeah, Material. Yeah, I know. And there's a lot of people that'll scream about it. <coughs> yeah, well, I hope it's a good experience for a lot of people that have been paying attention to a lot of this stuff, though, but there's the assumed way you're spending money in the county versus how you actually have to do some of this. I don't disagree with making absolutely sure you're managing every penny properly, too, but a lot of the stuff when the commissioners cut, it's not like you're just going, well, we don't want to spend that much and we're cutting it. A lot of it's because you absolutely have to. Yeah. And even you get down here, we're down to where we're looking at some modest increases, in our opinion, on some of these budgets, but when you look at it as a total, it's an 18% increase. Yeah. That's a, I mean, if you were told that, that's a lot. It's a big increase. If you're gonna increase it that much, that's fine. I think we should cut it in half. Be prepared to <laughs> How are you gonna cut that in half? Where are you gonna cut? Well no, that's what we were just talking about. You I'm were not... sitting here for two hours trying to cut a little bit and No, I meant just cut that down. Well, like Donnie was saying, like what I said, take just do three mils on the capital oh, projects okay. and three mils okay. on the emergency fund and that cuts it's basically gonna take it down about three hundred and two thousand dollars. You're, you're, you're probably roughly looking at a nine to ten percent increase. 
I think that's a lot more palatable. <laughs> I, think, I think so too. I think I'd rather do that. Yeah. I think I can defend that. I would go for that. So what do you want to do then? <coughs> cut the, cut the so I think what we'll need is we'll need a motion to accept the county road and bridge, the federal aid, the road district, and the highway tax as amended. So we went through all the amendments, and we'll need to repeat them, but I, we got the numbers here. And then... Federal aid, no. And then once you did that motion, then the other motion would have to be to move the capital projects and the emergency fund down to whatever mills. If you want to cut them in half, then it's about three mills a piece. I would take that in half. And then that's going to bring you into that 9 to 10%. You're going to be looking okay. at... Okay, can I interrupt you for a minute? Yeah. I want to just check something out here, Okay. With the capital projects, we've got because weren't we looking at adding four mills for ourselves? I thought we were at two point like eight something. Mills. I just don't. I just want to make sure you're not going to cut into like the jail or anything like that. Right. That's what I'm looking at here. <laughs> or were we only pulling in an additional two mills on that? I can't remember what that because you have 5.46 mils on that. Oh, okay. I increased it another. Five. Okay, we're okay then, yeah. So if we took three mils off that, we wouldn't jeopardize what we've already kind of been appropriating for. What did you have? Well, I have that 90,000 with the roof, and then 110,000 John had, and then with the county jail. I just wanted to make sure that that would still cover all that. Work. Well, the roof, so. the roof will roughly be a little over two mils. Yeah, we're okay then. Okay, I'll make a motion. So that motion would be to accept the county road and bridge, federal aid, the road district, yep. and the highway tax as amended. All right. Which we agreed when we went through the numbers. Yep. Yep. We're all, yep. everybody's fine yep. with that. I'll second it. Second by Commissioner Holm. Is there any more discussion on the Basically, the road budget items, the road fund budgets. Not hearing any, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Amendments, those budgets approved. The next would be a motion to cut the mills from capital projects and emergency funds. Unless somebody else has a better idea, those are the two big. Basically, cut them in half then, right? right? So it'll be 200. Some thousand rather than five hundred, almost six hundred. Yeah, you'd be looking at an increase of about two hundred eighty-eight thousand instead of. Yeah, because sometimes it was emergency fund because the state was declared a disaster that would help pay for it. Well, there's a lot of times we right. uh, you generally it's been bad enough of a disaster then the state gets involved and then usually yeah. you can make your emergency fund dollars go even further. So that's a bit. I mean, but it, I mean, just to be clear. Even with that number, we're, still quite a bit we're going to be looking at, we're going to be have close to 600000 in the yeah. emergency fund. It's not no. like we're short. And I thought we always kept like 300000 in there. Didn't we? Before? Three to 400000 is pretty normal because that's about where you build it up to until your next emergency. Yeah. So yeah. we got then some. Then we, we all said one year we spent 500000 Keep that in mind. Though. Well, but I mean, we are going to be above that 500000 threat. I mean, we're going to. And if measure four passes, will the state declare an emergency and give us that money? Probably not. Just telling you guys. Probably not. Well, what are you going to do? Hide this in your sock drawer? It's all going to the state anyway. I'm just saying. We get a bad winter, you're going to hear me speak back. I know, but it's not, like, it's not like we're cutting it down to 60000 bucks in there. I mean, I'm going to call Donnie at home and squeak at him. Yeah. Donnie ain't going to care at all. I'll be in Arizona. Yeah, I'll be in Arizona. So. Deuces. Deuces. So anybody want to make a motion? Well, I'll make a motion to cut the emergency and capital improvement fund in half, the mills. So basically you want to remove three mills from each one? Yeah. Commissioner Holm makes a motion to remove three mills from the capital projects and three mills from the emergency fund. Is there a second to that motion? Second. Second by Commissioner Everly. Is there any more discussion on the middle evidence for the capital projects or the emergency fund? 
That would have been money else. Me and Gary are out of here. Yeah. Yeah, you guys might as well make the motion. You and Gary can nobody even care about what you're doing. Is there any more discussion on those no levies? Not hearing any, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion approved. I believe that is the completion of the 2025 budget. You should might have these notes here with the amended amounts if you didn't have them all. Uh, I, I got them all now. So okay. You should be okay? Huh? Okay. You should be okay? I'll call you in Arizona. There are no more agenda items, but there is one more thing a voucher came through right after we we're in the recess, and it's for Comstock Construction. It's a uh, final building for the courthouse project. Um, everything's kind of on the up and up of that, right, Gary? I mean, that's just a normal building. Yeah, yeah actually, that, that bill will be taken off another portion of that bill. I had that conversation with Comstock this morning to clarify that. Um, and I talked to Marcus about it, too. So what you're paying today will be taken off another Everything's completed down in the auditorium. No, no, we're electricians are falling behind schedule. Um, okay. I did have a conversation with Comstock today to to uh, manage the Comstock to uh, uh, light the fire under the electricians who have fallen behind on some other projects, and now uh, this become kind of a. They haven't been here yet this week. Uh, they've been here one or two days a week for the last couple of weeks. So hopefully uh, by the end of this week, somebody gets the message that they need to get done. They're still uh, working on the fire alarm system okay. and then the wiring down in the auditorium. So hopefully that can The wiring completely in the auditorium. Well, the, the panel, uh, they got the panel installed, but they don't have the panel uh, hooked up yet. Okay. And same thing with, I think, on the outside of the building, there has to be some wiring there. So I believe they're probably 60 to 70% complete on the electrical part of it. So they just need to dedicate some manpower and some men to it and get it done. This front now, Gary, on these steps, mm -hmm. are they saving some of that limestone? That, I don't know, maybe. Uh, so, so that so they're going to try to trench so as much of it as possible, but it's but they're, when they've gone through and already looked at some of the stuff, they already haven't figured out what they're going to be removing and what's going to be safe for, for the stairs out there. So the, the ingress, egress in the courthouse is going to be one of the south entrance? Uh, they're doing the south entrance and the east entrance over here, so they're doing right. actually both. But so where are they going to be able to get in here? Coming in from the corner of the from the door. Don't be able to get in through door number two over here when, okay. when they do shut out okay. the front door. So that's, okay. that's not a big issue. We really have no problem with that. That's, that's all going to be busted out here in the front also completely. Yeah, and they should be finishing up with that somewhere around next week, sometime up in next week, give or take. So are they putting sandstone back in? Uh, yes, they're, they're doing the lime, limestone is what it is. Yeah, to match the existing, correct? Correct. And then they there. I don't know. <laughs> Comstock's doing that too? Uh, this is a subcontractor that's doing that. Where, where, where are they at? Do you know? I believe it's Ready Rock as a company, but I, I may be wrong on the name on that. Well, they did that down, down in the church there in Hague. They had all that sandstone they took off the steeple and they all made all new pieces they put on there. It's really nice. They did a nice job. They did a nice job with that brick topping. Yeah. That outfit on the well, Up around that steeple, all that sandstone, they took that all down and put all new stuff up there. What did they? Yeah. That had to be all right, so we can have a motion to approve, table, or deny this uh, voucher for Comstock Construction for twelve thousand two hundred seventy-seven dollars. Do you need a motion because that's included with the bills today? Well, since it's a voucher and I got to sign it, I mean, or is everybody fine with me just signing it then? Is that? Yeah, that's how we do it with the other vouchers throughout the, today. Okay. We can just. I don't think you need. Well, it's not a part of anything special, and it's part of yeah. everything we've already approved. Yeah. That's what I would say. Fair enough. Okay. Motion to adjourn. Motion. Motion to adjourn. Meeting adjourned.